How to troubleshoot JavaScript errors using Chrome Developer Tools. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net, and ASPRunner Pro. Here we have an order order detail application. I'm currently on the list of orders and edit one of the orders. There are three detail records which are correct, but there is a problem. The custom JavaScript code to calculate the total is not working. I edit the record and change the unit price, and already at this point I expected the total to update. Clearly not working at all. I created two custom functions in the custom function.js event, which are called from the order details list page javascript onload event and from the orders edit page javascript onload event update order total is the main function that calculates and updates the total test all code involved to see if there are any syntax errors i don't see anything wrong so I open up the project in chrome Right click, inspect, and Chrome Developer Tools open. You can also use Firefox Developer Tools to debug JavaScript. By default, the element tab is selected. I can see there are three errors, so I proceed to the console tab. We have a cannot read property error. To try and understand what's going on, I click on the link provided and open the source of the JavaScript file. The error underlined explains find item of null. Here we have detail page dot find item. Detail page is a variable declared earlier on by means of get details page with variable order details table. Finally, the variable order details table are declared right at the beginning and it is set to order underscore details. Let's verify the table name. I go to the after table initialized event of the order details page and under the description you will find the entire query for this table. Copy the exact table name and correct it in the JavaScript. JavaScript is case sensitive, so I must spell it using capital letters. Build and upload the project, but you may want to untick compressed JavaScript files before building the project. It helps with the debug process. The correct project is now online and I refresh the page. The error is solved, but the total is still not updating. I now browse to the custom JS file, which is under include. The table name is correct and no errors. I now need to debug by observing the values stored in variables. Here I have total, quantity and unit price. First, I set a breakpoint just before the variables. The code will run up to this point and pause so we can examine what's going on. Copy the variables and add them to the watch expression window. Refresh the page and the code executes and stopped at the breakpoint. The page is grayed out to indicate an active breakpoint and have some controls which are the same over here. 
I now click this button to let the code continue one line at a time. And observe the values in the watch window as each line gets executed. The value of a variable can also be seen by clicking on it. At this point the for each loop is completed and we can observe the values of the last row. Unit price is 3.5 which is correct but quantity is expected to be 10 and it is not. Back at the project let's verify the quantity field. It is not supposed to be spelt with a capital Q.